What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And in this video, I am going to be building the mission models contained in bag four for the FLL super powered 2022-2023 game. Contained in this bag is the energy storage and in order to successfully build it, you are going to need these two bags labeled number four, as well as these two unlabeled bags. All right, let's get into the build and I hope you enjoy the video. So first up, you're gonna be needing four of those black pins and one of those dark gray plates. Now, one thing that I just wanna point out about these plates is that they do have a top and a bottom. This right here is the top. You'll see it's mostly flat, but if you flip it over, there's this hole in the middle and that's how you know it's the bottom. And what you wanna do is you wanna have this plate with the bottom face up and you're going to insert the black pins into this side right here. So you're gonna insert the first pin in this left end hole and then you're gonna insert one in every other hole. Now you'll be needing two of these dark gray L's. And what you're going to do is you're gonna insert one of those onto these two pins and the other on these two pins. But you want the short side of these L's to be on the inside pins and pointed upwards. And I'll show you what I mean once I put them on. So you'll see the short side of those L's are right here and here, and they are both pointed upwards. Now you'll be needing this gray H, and you are going to insert that into this hole and this hole. Now you'll be needing a gray H and a dark gray plate. And the first thing you're going to do is insert these two holes of that dark gray plate onto these two pins. And then you are going to go ahead and take that H and insert it into these two holes. Now you'll be needing four black pins, one of those dark gray plates, and two of those dark gray L's. And you are going to do something similar to what you did in the first couple steps. You're going to have this plate bottom face up, and then you're going to insert these black pins into this side right here, one starting in the end, and then you'll go in every other hole. So just like that, and then you're going to take these L's and attach one to these two pins and one to these two pins. Again, you want the short side of the L's to be here and here, pointed upwards. So once again, you'll see the short side of those L's are in the middle and they are both pointed upwards. And now what you wanna do is you wanna insert these two pins right here into this hole and this hole. Now you'll be needing four black pins and you are going to insert one of those into this end hole and this end hole on both sides. Flip that over. Now you'll be needing four black pins, two of those gray H's, and two of those size three dark gray beams. You know those beams are size three because they have three holes. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one of those H's and insert it into one of the size three dark gray beams. And then you're going to take those two black pins and insert them into these two holes. So it should look like this, and you need to make two of those. So you should now have two identical pieces. And now you wanna insert these two black pins into these two top holes right here on both sides. And 
and if you do that correctly, those gray pins should be pointed upwards. Now you'll be needing two of these medium sized white frames. And what you're going to do is you're going to insert the long side of one of these frames onto these two pins and one onto these two pins. And if you do that correctly, the edges of these frames should align with the edge of these gray plates. Now you'll be needing six black pins and three of those size 15 dark gray beams. And so on each of these beams, you want to insert a black pin into each end hole. So just like that, and now I'm going to make two more. So you should have three identical pieces. And now these are going to be used to attach the two white frames. So this first one is going to go into this inner hole right here on both sides. And then the second one is going to go in the set of holes just above that one. And then the last one is going to go on this side in the middle hole. Now you can go ahead and set this piece off to the side. Now you'll be needing two long blue pins and one of those red plates. And now at the top of that red plate facing up, you're going to insert the short side of these blue pins into these two end holes. Now you'll be needing a size 11 red beam, and you are going to center that onto these two pins. And if you did that correctly, that beam should align with the edges of the plate. Now you'll be needing another red plate, and now again, making sure the top face is pointed up, you are going to attach this plate to these two pins. Now you'll be needing eight black pins and four of those red pieces that have two beam holes and an axle hole. And on each of these red pieces, you're going to insert a black pin into these two holes. and you will need to make three more of these. So you should have four identical pieces. And you are going to attach the two black pins into these two holes and these two holes on both sides. So all your axle holes should be in the middle. Now you'll be needing four of these dark gray pieces that are part pin and part axle and you're going to insert the axle part of those pieces into these four axle holes. Now you'll be needing two size seven white beams and you are going to center those on each set of pins. and both of those should line up well with this red piece. Now you can pick up this piece I told you to set aside earlier. And what you're going to do is you're gonna insert these four gray pins into these four holes.
Now you'll be needing four black pins and two of those size 15 dark gray beams. And on each of those beams, you're going to insert a black pin into each end hole. So you should have two identical pieces. And you are again going to use these to attach these two white frames. So the first one is going to go in the top set of holes back here. And then this one's going to go in the top set of holes on this side. Now you'll be needing four of those small red axles, four of those blue pieces that are part pin and part axle, two of those green pieces that have an axle hole in each end, and four of those curved green elbows. And the first thing you want to do is take this green piece that has an axle hole in each end and insert the small red axles. And then you're going to insert the curved elbows onto those two axles but you want to make sure that the elbows point in the same direction. So you'll see these two are both pointing down. And then you want to take the axle part of these blue pieces and put them in the other side of the elbows. So it should look like this, and you will need to make another one. So you should have two identical pieces. And you were first going to insert one of those into the third hole from the right on the top and bottom. And then the second one is going to go on this side, except it's going to go into this hole and this hole. Now you'll be needing two of these white plates, and you are going to insert the second hole from both sides here onto these two pins and these two pins. And when you do that, both of these plates should curve away from the part. Now you'll be needing four black pins and two of those size 15 dark gray beams. And you are again going to insert the black pins into the two end holes of each beam. So again, you should have two identical parts. And you are going to attach one of these to these two holes and one to these two holes. And now you can set this piece off to the side. Now you'll be needing four black pins and a small gray frame. And what you're going to do is insert those black pins into the four corner holes. Now you'll be needing two size 11 red beams and you are going to insert one beam onto these two pins and one onto these two pins, making sure the end hole goes onto these two pins. Now you'll be needing two of those blue pieces that are part pin and part axle, two red elbows, one of those red pieces with an axle hole, and one of those size three gray axles. 
you know the axle is size 3 because if you hold a beam up to it, you'll see it spans 3 holes, making it a size 3 axle. And the first thing you want to do is insert the gray axle into one of the holes of an elbow. And then you are going to take the red piece with an axle hole in it and slide that onto the axle all the way down. And then you are going to insert this axle into the other elbow. You just want to make sure that the two open sides of the elbows are pointed in the same direction. And now you're going to take the axle part of these blue pieces and insert them into the other axle hole. And now what you want to do is you want to flip this piece over and then you are going to insert these two blue pins into these two end holes. And now you can go ahead and pick up this piece I told you to set aside earlier. And now this piece will actually just slide right into here. Now you'll be needing one of these white pieces that's part pin and part axle. And what you're going to do is you're going to insert the pin part of that piece into this center hole of this dark gray beam. And to make sure it's centered, you should have seven holes on either side of this white piece. Now you'll be needing one of those white bricks with nine beam holes in it, that flat white plate, and two small gray pins. And you are first going to insert the long side of those gray pins into this hole and this hole. And then you are going to go ahead and take the long edge of this white plate and put it on top of this white brick. This white piece right here is the display wall, and this is where you have the option to create your own image with the design tiles in bag 15. Please check out my video on bag 15 for more details on that. And now you're going to flip this piece around, and you are going to insert this middle hole onto this axle right here. This is now the completed energy storage, and it should look just like this. Now just before we finish up this video, there is one thing that I would like to point out. If we take a look at both bags labeled number 4, you'll notice that we have a couple extra pieces. In this one, we have one of those black pins, and then in this one, we have one of those small gray pins, and also one of those red pieces that has an axle hole. If you have something similar, do not be worried. Typically they include extra pieces, usually the smaller ones. In case you happen to lose one, you'll have a spare, and it won't be a huge deal. All right, so this is the completed energy storage, and that is the mission model contained in bag four. And so that's about it for this build video. Feel free to check out all our other LEGO videos in the playlist in the top left corner. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have any questions or an idea for a future video. Feel free to follow my Instagram in the description below. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.